guys welcome to simplifying tech and programming so in today's session we are going to check how we can configure and install one of the most used database that is a oracle database how we can perform the crude operations on oracle database like uh, create update delete that kind of functions how we can easily perform that operations by using a sql developer okay so in today's agenda so we are going to check uh, how we can uh, download and uh, install oracle 19c setup along with the uh, sql developer so sql developer is a gui tool in order to, on top of uh, oracle database in order to visualize your uh, query and your data then uh, we will see how to configure the oracle 19c database then uh, we will see how to install and configure sql developer and how we can connect with the oracle 19c server then uh, we can see some of the crude operations by using sql plus command line tool and uh, we will see same operations into S sql developer so we will see how to run the basic commands and basic queries into oracle okay so let's get started go to your favorite browser load okay so go to this link so you can see uh, we are landed with the oracle home page where we can see oracle 19c for microsoft windows 64 bit so there are multiple versions available so but uh, we can uh, we are interested into this only so click on this in order to download and install so this is the zip package we need to download so click on download button okay so before downloading so it will ask if you have like a oracle account uh, so that you can sign in or or if you don't have the oracle account then you can go to create account so here uh, just we have to enter the basic information of yours like uh, email address password and then address zip code and this, let's say create account so once you create this account then that uh, the downloading will be start automatically okay so in our case we have already downloaded the oracle setup so we have this uh, oracle setup already downloaded then we can download the sql developer setup also so type sql developer okay so go to this oracle link again so you can see sql developer uh, latest version is uh, 23.1 so that is released on this date so so this is the package uh, which is available windows 64 bit jdk 11 in so we need this only so click on download so in this case so select this and let's say down okay so same procedure here so you if you don't have account then create the account so it will start automatically downloading so in our case so we can see like uh, both the setups are already downloaded so that is uh, oracle uh, 19c so this setup is around uh, 3 gb so it will take time according to your uh, network bandwidth and uh, this sql developer so this is the uh, near about 500 mb so copy this setups into into some directory okay so i have a c tools directory uh, where i have copied this so these are like a zip files so need, we need to extract it so extract to this folder also we can extract this sql developer okay so our uh, oracle installer and sql developer installer is extracted so go to oracle installer so you can see there are uh, lots of folders so you can see at the last there is a setup.exe so you just need to double click on this in order to start installation of oracle so you can see oracle 19c database uh, launching database setup result so now it is saying uh, select configuration option so let's keep as a default that is a create and configure single instance of a database let's say next so now it is asking to select the system class so we need to select as a default because we are installing this on the onto the laptop or desktop class system so let's say next so now it is asking to specify oracle home user so use virtual account or create a new windows user so in this case so you can create this user so like uh, provide username as a oracle user one so there is a pro tip uh, so if you give the password then password as a password uh, string then you might uh, not able to connect via sql plus uh, command line because uh, that password is very common so that sql plus will not accept this password so you can put the password other than password string okay so let's say next okay so here it is asking typical install configuration 
So here like uh, we have to choose the particular directory. So here we, we can create one directory called as a Oracle. So you can browse this option as a Oracle select. So it is better to select the different folder option because uh, all Oracle files and Oracle logs will be getting generated into this file. So you can create onto the C drive Oracle folder. So in my case, I'm creating C tools Oracle and this order data will be created inside this Oracle. Okay, so global database name. So they, this is the OR seal. Don't change this. And uh, you can keep the password uh, as per your requirement. Okay, so that's it. So let's say next. So it is performing some prerequisite checks. So it is giving summary for uh, the installation of uh, multiple products. So that is a uh, Oracle home user. That is Oracle user one and uh, this type of information. So total allocated memory. So let's say install. So now it is started installing installing all the products that is mentioned. So it might take time according to your uh, machine configuration. Okay, so the configuration of Oracle database was successful. So the Oracle setup is completed. So let's verify this. So close this window. So now let's verify the SQL plus. So if it is installed correctly. So we can see like 19.3.0 version uh, of SQL is available to use. So it is asking for username. So you can enter the default username. So that is a sys as sys dba and give password as okay <clears throat> so default username is sys as dba and uh, password is a uh, into the string password okay so it is connected to this uh, oracle 19c so you can verify so like a select star from tab so tab means like uh, it will list all the system tables from oracle database so let's say enter so we haven't created any uh, tables into database but it will uh, result into system databases or system tables so you can see these are like a system tables present okay so you can see there are uh, 8257 system tables are there okay so now in order to visualize in better way and we have to and if we want to see the structured data or in tabular format so we need one GUI tool so so for that we need uh, this oracle sql developer okay so now we will install this oracle sql developer and we will connect to oracle database okay so go to the directory where you have uh, this uh, sql developer you have extracted so go to this sql developer uh, extracted folder and here you can see one exe file so click on this exe file so it will start oracle sql developer installation okay so our oracle sql developer is installed so this will look like this so now you can see uh, there is a oracle connection so you just need to add one connection in order to connect with the uh, oracle okay so right click on this oracle connection and say new connection okay so in user information so you have to type the default username that is a sys and its role will be sysdba so sys at sysdba so whatever that user so that is a by default user so type uh, password for that particular user and in the connection type it's a basic only and here just we need to change the SID so that is a ORCL so at the time of uh, installation so that is a default uh, service name or SID it is a ORCL so you, you just need to do the test connection so you can see here here you can observe the status here so if I do the test connection so it is saying the invalid uh, password so let me type it again so our test connection is success save the password and uh, let's say connect okay so you can see here uh, oracle db 
so here uh, our uh, instance is ready to use so if you go inside the table so you can see all the system tables are here so you can open any one table so you you can see this is the system table so now as per our agenda so we will see running the sql queries so let's see how we can uh, uh, work with the query sql queries with the sql developer connecting to oracle okay so here like uh, we can create the sample table so there are two ways to uh, like uh, create the table uh, from sql developer so you can uh, uh, create the table by using ui also so right click on uh, tables and uh, let's say new table here you can mention the all the column name required for uh, tables like suppose uh, we are creating a books table so here you can write the book name column so that is a var cache so give size as a 255 then uh, we can create one more uh, column that is a uh, author we will type the capital author and author size will be 255 again and it is a var cache also and this is a not null book name so like this uh, this is a basic table so just i am creating for demo purpose so just click on ok so it will create this books table okay so it is created so now if we uh, so you don't want to see suppose you don't want to see the system tables so you directly jump into your created table so right click on this table and uh, go to apply filter so here we just need to add our filter that is a table name so table name is our our table name is books so add this table name as a books so let's say okay so you can see the, the books table is visible so double click on this so you can see the schema of the table that is a book name and author so we have added this so now just insert the data so for that like uh, go into data and here you can see this uh, plus icon there so right click on uh, click on this and type the book name like you can win okay let's enter and type the author name Shukera. okay that's it so you can click on this save button or commit button and you can see like uh, this data is also there and you can do the select also so like suppose select star from books enter so you can see the book name and author name another way of creating queries by a via manual queries so you can write our uh, queries into this query builder so let's say like uh, we need to create one table so create so just click on this create table let's say we are creating employee table so create table employee so here like uh, we have to add the column names our basic table structure is ready so select this and let's say execute so you can see this employee is created then commit this now we have to insert some data into this employee so you can type the insert query insert into table name so insert into table name and we have to specify the columns and then we have to write the values so what values is the semicolon and select this and run this okay so just we have to give the single quotes not double quotes okay that's it so just need to execute this so you can see one row is inserted so you can insert the another row and we can verify the data okay let's say execute this so you can see one row inserted commit this and then we will we have to execute select command select star for employee that's it enter yeah so you can see the output so whatever the data we have inserted tom hanks and its employee id and elon musk so we can visualize this employee data from here also so right click on this and again say apply filter so instead of books so you can apply filter on 
employee so emp double e let's say okay so you can see here employee so okay so from sql plus also we can execute uh, one sample create statement so we are creating table employee 100 okay so this table is created employee 100 okay so let's verify if it is uh, getting created so right click on tables say apply filters and instead of employee you can type the employee 100 okay so you can see this table is also created with no data so from sql plus also so we can uh, uh, create the table so we can insert the data also okay so one row created one row created so let's verify this so now here also we can verify select star from employee 100 that's it so you can see this this is the employee id this is the first name last name employee id first name last name so here it is not look uh, not visible in tabular format so if you want to see into tabular format then you have to just go to sql developer okay so this way we can uh, able to like download and install uh, oracle 19 c along with sql developer that is a gui tool and we can uh, I run the SQL queries with the uh, SQL developer also and SQL plus command line tool also. So stay tuned for uh, further sessions and uh, thanks a lot for watching.